Hello and welcome to another special edition of Talkin' Tunes. I am your host, Frank Walsh. And this is very special because I am here for a very special event. And I have two very special people here with me. Holly Harris, who is one of the best loved and most respected DJs on the radio. And I have Jim Cardi, who is the host of this great event. You are going to be hearing some great music today. You're going to be talking to some great people. But I'm going to kick it off right now with Jim Cardi. Jim, first of all, thank you for hosting this great charity event. Why don't you tell the folks a little bit about what you're doing today? Um, well, uh, Johnny Rawls, thankfully, is an old friend of mine, Hart. Yeah. I think. Can I think it's strongest uh, blues band? And uh, Bruce Matson is an old friend when he was with Greg Allman. Uh, got to know him. So I called him. And, uh, uh, lady D from West Virginia, the first lady of the blues in West Virginia. Yep. Uh, it's just overwhelming. Yeah, you're going to have a great show today. Yeah, it's great. And uh, Holly. What do you have to say well, about this great event? I am so event? thrilled to be here. I haven't been to this Jim's house, but I've known Jim for decades. Our kids kind of went to preschool together, check, check. but we've been friends. He worked with me on an earlier radio show, and we've been doing the blues together for many, many years. He is truly my brother in the blues. And so to see Ryan Hart, but Johnny Rawls, I love Johnny Rawls. I've been to Mississippi to see Johnny Rawls. I met him first in your house, and to see Lady D to be with Frank and this whole crew is a wonderful, and the Connecticut Blue Society. So uh, I host uh, Saturday nights WUMB, uh, Spinning the Blues in Boston, and I'm thrilled to be here today with my yeah. dear friends. And One of the best shows you. on the radio, by the way. Absolutely. So, so talk about your event today and, and what is the supporting, Jim? It's a great cause. So the Lime Youth Service Bureau. Um, I, I was born in Boston at eight years old. I moved into this neighborhood in Connecticut. And then I moved back here about four years ago because I love it and, and it's a great community. But the Lime Youth Service Bureau helped me tremendously. Well, as you can see, the band is warming up and yep. you're going to be hearing some great music today. So uh, we might come back to these guys later, but in the meantime, sit back and relax and we'll be back in a little bit. Once again, I am here with Ryan Hart of Ryan Hart and the Blue Hearts. And you are going to hear some tremendous music that they're going to be playing with their band today. So, Ryan, first of all, thank you for coming on today. Thanks for having and me. Secondly, this is the second time that I'm aware of that you were here. Uh, talk a little bit about this event and talk a little bit about your band and what you've been up to. So, I've known Jim Carney for 20 years, I, really? I guess so, since his Boston DJ days. Yeah. So we used to play Boston a lot more than we do now. And, uh, uh, you know, he used to play a record. He used to play Boston. And he moved back to Connecticut. I was, you know, 10 minutes away in deep river, so nice. he's been great and it's good not friends, but you know, we always have to be a part of it. Now, you're uh, going to be playing a lot of music today, but how have you fared over the last year? I mean, uh, well, not too bad. Yeah, did you get out and play it all? I did, yeah, I did. Uh, a buddy of mine has a, a regular Wednesday thing in uh, Cranston, Rhode Island that nice. they've been doing. They've nice. been in Rhythm Blues Ensemble. And that was pretty COVID safe. We were behind plexiglass and everybody was wearing masks. And, it was as normal as it could be, but it was nice to play. You know, I did that four or five times over the course of the year. Nice. And then since May or June, things have been opening up. Nice. Some of my regular clubs. Right. Start playing music. How can people find you and get a hold of your music? I know you gave me a couple of CDs and I put them on my regular uh, playlist. Thank you very much. How can people get a hold of you and you're find out where you're playing and all that? Ryanhart.com, R Y A N H A R T T.com. Uh, Ryan Hart and Blue Hearts, you can find us on Facebook. And, uh, well, we're going to be looking you up and we're going to have that information on the screen. So, Ryan, thank you very much for uh, taking much. a couple of minutes today. Thanks, Frank. Thanks. Thank you.
the summertime is here. You need time to keep you cool. The summertime is here. You need time to keep you cool.
My name is General Mississippi Soul Blues.
She's a general, one no good man. And this is what I told her. I 
sorry one day.
you'll be calling me every hour till I come in tonight, but I don't care, no. Tonight I'm gonna do as I choose.
to go. Folk used to love to hear this song, especially down south. Because see, when I sing this song down south, the women, they crowd in the eyes and they hoop and holler because they know what I was talking about. Because see, they know that if you got a man, you got the blues. And ain't that right? Yeah. Come on now, I said, if you got a man, you got the blues. Yeah. She's shaking her head. No, she lying. No, she lying. <laughs> the name of this song is called Dirty, No Gooders, Blue. Come on, put your hands.
away last year and I'll send this up to Bill. Ain't no sunshine when he's gone. It's not warm when he's away. Ain't no sunshine when he's gone and he's always gone.
Connecticut round of applause from West Virginia. I think we're gonna come back. Are we coming back, Jim? Where Jim go? We are coming back, right? Y'all want us to come back? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you just heard some amazing music, and I am very fortunate to be sitting here with two of the stars who have just performed for you, Mr. Johnny Rawls and Miss Lady D. I am sitting among greatness because these are two of the most prominent musicians and blues people in the world. So, Johnny, this is the second time that I have seen you here. Okay. What brings you back to these parts? What makes you come on back just to play this event? Uh, to eat. Uh, to eat? <laughs> <laughs> no, Jim's a good friend of mine. He always put on a, just these are events. Yep. And he always called me, he looked at my schedule. And see when I'm in the area, and I come on down and play for him, and we have a good time. Well, I tell you, you put on a heck of a show, man. Thank you. And uh, so, what's been going on with you? I'm sure the pandemic hit the both of you hard over oh, yeah. the last year. Oh, How yeah, did that affect you? I know that you put some music out. Oh yeah. I follow you on Facebook and see all of your stuff. Uh, what's been going on with you? Well, now my whole year is booked. But yeah. last year was a it was a dark scene. Yeah. But God is good. And I did shows on my porch in Mississippi, and my fans and friends were very generous. You were playing live stuff, too. And it brought me through. Good for you. Brought me through Good for you. Friends. And Lady D, what brings you up to these parts? I know you don't get up this way very much. No, I don't. Uh, actually, Johnny was generous enough to uh, invite me to come along with him to the North Atlantic Blues Festival. Right. And then he said, well, we got to stop in Connecticut too. So, you know, I'm along for the ride and having a good time. Well, you're kind of at opposite ends of the poles here, right? <laughs> Going up from Maine <laughs> to Connecticut. Yeah, it was like that sometimes. Yeah, you played up there, yeah. yeah a lot of people ask me, said, you gonna go way over here? Then go way <laughs> over there? I said, well, I would like to go five miles from here three miles from here and ten miles from that, but it just don't work like It don't that. work that way. Yeah. I wish it would. Yeah, Paul Benjamin it's... puts on a heck of a oh, show. Yeah, man. Paul like Benjamin puts five, on a good one. Five, six thousand people there yesterday. Yeah. So you come back here just to play in the North Atlantic and then come on down here? And then back to West Virginia. Back to West Virginia. Now talk a little bit about your background. I know that when you were playing some songs, you said that you had written a play about Bessie Smith. Right, uh, I wrote a play about Bessie Smith called The Lady and the Empress back the Lady in, uh, and the Empress. 2002, and I've been performing that show ever since, and since then I have also done like a spinoff from that called Bessie's Blues. Uh, the Lady and the Empress is me, it's a one-woman show with a four-piece band, and uh -huh. then Bessie's Blues is myself and one other musician, and I do a lot of schools and uh, civic clubs and things like that, smaller You venues. played it all over the country, I would imagine? Uh, well... Along the East Coast. The East but, Coast. Yeah, I haven't been up here with that show. I would love to come up in this area. Well, we have many venues. We have many venues up here and many uh, many good theater uh, places that you could probably push that up on well, here. Well, I'm open for booking. And we have some tremendous blues fans around here, as you know, oh, Johnny. Oh, yeah, no doubt. You know, it's a hotbed. So um, when you're not, you know, doing your theater stuff, uh, do you go out, you go out and play around? And, uh, yeah, I have a band play? called Mission, and I play with them quite a bit. Of course, last year, yeah, nothing was happening, but I play with my band. I also have a couple of musicians that I play as a duo with. Mm -hmm. So um, that's sort of how I roll. <laughs> right, right. We we stay busy. Um, Things are really picking up. My my year is pretty much booked as far as weekends go so Good far. So I'm really happy about this year. Good. I hope you know, things stay open up. Right. The way they are. Now I know that you're uh, you're a woman of cause. You have uh, many different causes, and you are somewhat of an outspoken lady. And uh, 
you know, good for you. Uh, talk a little bit about that and some of the, you know, some of the causes and some of the things that you stand behind. Well, the thing is, um, I'm not a person who, people call me an activist, yeah. but I'm an activist uh, within my music, within my boundaries that mm -hmm. I set, because I don't go out and march. Right, right. You know, but I'm more likely to write a song about it, which <laughs> I did. Back in 2020, uh, the new CD I have called Disturbing My Peace is basically my take on 2020, right. how things were going, the way I was feeling, and people just sort of latched on to that and picked up on it, and I've been invited to sing in a lot of different uh, things like the Poor People's Campaign, Reverend Barber, um, nice. different, you know, voting rights Good for you. campaigns and things like that. So, you know, these are, are people that I wouldn't say no to. So they're not things that right. you know, that I would be against. Right. So, yes, I do support those causes. Right. Now, Johnny, as far as your music goes, you've got, a, did you get some nominations this year? Uh, yeah, some yeah, your music yeah. or up for, some, uh, up for some awards? Yeah, we got some nominations. What you get? Speak uh, up so a little bit. Soul Blues album, uh, Soul Male Vocalist of the Year. A right. couple of nominations. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. See uh, any uh, Hall of Fame uh, talk in your uh, in, in your world? Uh, I well, think that you certainly belong in there. Well, not now. You know, see the thing of it is, most people go in the Hall of Fame, they're the wheelchair or the manny, and I just don't fit that script. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you got another 20 or 30 years before him, said, you get into that I wheelchair said, and everything, I right? I said, do I have to look like that to get in the Hall of Fame? I said, I'll never get in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> But those are great people that they end up there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But yeah. I don't, if they wouldn't know me getting a wheelchair, I get oxygen to get in there, I don't think I'd get in there. Okay. So what's next for you? What's coming up? You've got, you got nothing locally around here, but you've probably got a lot here. of bookings. And what kind of places do you play? I'm sure you've played in some of the play, uh, famous halls. Well, yeah, um, I've, I've played for uh, Barack Obama's inauguration. That is right, I was going to get to um, that. I've, so I've gotten to the point where I don't do you know, too many bars or anything like that. Right, we, right. We Bigger venues. We mostly do events, yeah. uh, festivals. Uh, so Johnny, um, how can we get a hold of you? How can people at home follow you and follow your music and buy some of those CDs that you have? Well, they can just go to Johnny Rolls Blue. Johnny Rolls Blue. Yahoo.com. Yahoo.com. <laughs> what about you, Miss Lady D? Well, you can go to musicbyladyd.com. I also have another uh, website, Lady D's Not Just Music. Okay. Dot com, and that's where you can find all my music as well as my paintings, um, my clothing. I hand paint clothes, and uh, I've just got all kinds of stuff on there, posters and things. Well, good for you. Well, thank you so much for coming thank in today, Johnny. Thank I really you. appreciate thank it. Thank you very much. Lady D, it's been a pleasure, man. Thank you so much. So folks at home, you just met the great Johnny Rawls and the great Lady D. You're going to be hearing some of their music in a couple of minutes. Stay tuned. I'm going to do my trademark song, a dirty song I wrote called Lucy, Get Juicy. Get on down and pop that coochie. And I'm going to do it for the girl from Baltimore. Yeah. I, I think she would like something like this. The girl named Lucy, she can dance real good. If you ever died by Atlanta, look out, she took Lucy stand about five feet two. It ain't no dance or that girl can't do. Start wiggling them hips, sucking on them lips, Holly. Oh, that girl, get down. Let's go to bridge now. Everybody love to call her name. When she walk through the door. Ain't no shame out in the game. Y'all raise up your hand and let me see you go ahead and out. Work your thing. Lucy, get juicy. Honey, get up. Pop that coochie. Next day, might have a hangover, but I 
that's okay She'd never been known to miss a party Oh, that girl, get down, yeah, yeah Okay. She's never been known to miss a party. Oh, that girl, you down, yeah. Everybody love to call her name when she walked through the door. Ain't no shame in the game. How y'all feel out there? Oh, yeah, I did. Let's give Jim Carter a nice round of applause for having this event. Wait a minute. Did y'all, did y'all, did y'all donate to the cause? Did y'all donate to the cause? Did the gym, did they uh, bid on the thing? give you something to bid on. I'm going to auction off myself. $50,000. One week. Well, Jim, nobody bid. $50,000 one time. $50,000 two times. Fifty five. Sixty, do I hear sixty thousand? Let me tell you, it'll be worth your money now. You know, I ain't no cowboy, but you know what? I like to ride. I say, ain't no cowboy, but old Johnny sure like to ride. Let me tell you about me. I don't need no saddle. I don't need no spurs. When that lemon get good, I grab the head on the bed. I like to ride. Oh, yeah. I like. I like. I like to ride. My name is Johnny Rowe. Thank y'all very much.
tired of relationships. Why are you tired, John? Because it never worked out. I've been in love more time than the Ten Commandments been broke. <laughs> I'm tired. Well, see, you said it never worked out, right? It never worked out. Well, see, the word that you're missing is work. You got to work it. I don't want to work it nothing. 
Well, there you go. But I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. Just what I'm gonna do, time. I put this guitar down today. This is what I'm gonna do, Lady D. I'm gonna find me. I'm gonna find me a part time love. Gonna find me. Gonna find me a part time love. Well, the next time you see me, I got to have me a part time love. That don't sound quite right to me. People in the cemetery, they're not on them. Watch me. Some turn to dust, some remain bone. I'd rather be dead, six feet in my grave, for I let a no good woman mess up with my life again. I'm gonna find me. Find me a part time love. Well, the next time you see me, Lady D. Have me a part-time love. See, that might be all right, but see what I like. I like me a full-time man. That ain't me. <laughs> Said I like me, I like me. I like me a full-time man. Good luck. See, I'm going to treat him right. He'll just have to do the best he can. I don't like no part-time love. I do. That just uh, don't work for me. I don't like no, I don't like no part-time love. What you got? Go ahead and give it to the man above. See, every day I think about the man I want. Sing this song for the young lady right there. The right young lady that's been dancing all night long. The, the, the dancing camera lady. The dancing camera lady. I wanna I wanna sing this song for her. I got a special song for her. You know what it is. What is it? Stoop down, baby, and let your daddy see. I'm a dirty old man. You got some down now, baby. That were in the hell out of me. Watch well, it. Give me a break one time. Jack and Jill went up the hill. Jill came down with two one hundred dollar bills. Stoop down, baby. Let old Johnny Ross see. Dirty old man. You got some down. It just weren't the hell out of me. Two nuns were playing in the sand. One told the other, said, I wish you was a man. Stoop down, baby. Let your daddy see. She got something down now, Lady D. It weren't the hell out of me. Look like she's ready for you. Every day. The blues. Every day I got the blues. Every day. Every day. Every day I got the blues.
married except me. Everybody in the band is married except me. Lady D not married either. She's not married. I've been married six times. It didn't work out. I asked my last wife, I said, have we made a mistake, honey? She said, I think so. I said, well, we'll just get a divorce. Thank y'all very much, ladies and gentlemen. We love y'all. Good night. Have a good time. I love y'all. Love you. 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 Stoop down, baby. Let your daddy see. I'm your dad. I'm your daddy. Stoop down. Let your daddy see. She got some down. Ladies and gentlemen, I tell you, we promised them some good music, didn't we? We had a party today. We had a get-down party here at the Cardi's. And we delivered. And Holly, I have to tell you, you were pretty good on those little bongos and whatever you were banging on there today. I didn't know I was going to know people. The Jim Bai and the bongos, man. You killed it. So ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I want to say special thanks to Jim Cardi and all of the great musicians who performed today. And especially I want to thank Holly Harris who is here. She helped me open and now she's helping me close. And more importantly, I want to thank everybody at Smack for allowing me to shoot these shows. And one of the good things is that the studio is now open and I can actually go in and edit Wonderful. and produce shows. So Holly, thank you so much. You're welcome, Frank. It's a pleasure and I'm sure I will see you and Laura around. You will. At these wonderful festivals that we have coming up in well. Massachusetts. And ladies and gentlemen, you want to tune in on Saturday nights, 91.9 WUMB, Spinning the Blues with Holly Harris. You will not hear better music on the radio. So once again, Frank Walsh for Holly Harris, my lovely wife Laura, who has manned and womaned the camera today. I want to say thank you, and as always, tune in and tune on. Thanks, everybody.